Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, I would like to share how to perform count and sum based on colors. In this video, I'm going to share two methods. Let's try for the first method. For the first method, we need a helper column. Let's say I want to put it under column B. So give a header, let's say could. Then select the desired cell. Go to the formulas tab. Click on name manager. Click on new. Rename if needed. It is strongly recommended. Do not use any name that is used as built-in Excel functions as this will affect those functions. To be safe, we can give a name followed by any number, for example 1. Then next to refers to after equal sign type get dot cell. This is an Excel 4.0 macros function. Make a bracket, use 63 as the type number which stands for the background color. Make a comma. For the cell address, do not use use absolute reference but we should use relative reference in other words we should delete all the dollar signs currently we are now on b2 if you wish to always refer to the cell on the left of it which means that on the left of b is a so let's change b to a click on ok close it and we can now use the name so we have code 1 excel will automatically select the cell on the left press on enter there. Now select the cell, move the cursor to the bottom right corner and double click it and we should obtain all the goods as we can see here. And now we can perform count. So let's set equal to count if select the range that list the could fix it by pressing the function key F4. Make a comma for the criteria. Again, we can use the could one. Since it is always referred to the cell on the left, press on enter, select the cell, move the cursor to the bottom the right corner and double click it. Delete those unwanted if needed and we should have the correct count. Let's perform sum. So we have equal to sum if again select could as range fix it make a comma for the criteria we cannot use could one for this time since it always refer to the cell on the last. What can we do here is create another name. So let's click on name manager click on new and this time we have could Again, after equal sign, use the get.cell function, bracket, also 63 as the type number, comma, remove the dollar sign, and we are now currently at E2. We want to refer to the cell two columns to the left, so which means that we should refer to C. So change E to C. Click on OK, close it, and now let's use the sum if function again. Select the range, fix it, comma, for the criteria we should use could to for this case and we should be able to notice Excel selected the correct cell. Comma for the sum range, select the cells for the detail. Also fix it, close bracket and press enter. Again, select the cell, move the cursor to the bottom right corner and double click it. Delete those unwanted if needed. And we obtain the correct filters. Let's check it. So for this color, we have two cells here. Refer to the sum here, we have 142, which is exactly the same as what we obtained. For this color, we have this two, so we should have 94, correct. We should bear in mind that if we use this method, we might be facing an issue if we close the workbook although we have saved it. When we reopen the file, we should notice a message saying that blocked content. If we change the content of the data, we obtain error since it is blocked. But don't worry, since this issue can be solved. So what we have to do here is go to file, click on options, click on trust center, trust center settings, macro settings, check the box to enable Excel 4.0 macro. Cross. Click on OK, OK again, and now save this workbook, close it, reopen the workbook again, let's make some amendment, and we should have the correct number. Another issue that we might be facing is, if we change the color manually, for example, we change to this color, the code is not updated. Even though we go to the formulas tab and click on calculate now, Excel will not update the value for us. Until until the content is changed. 
and this we have the second method which can overcome this issue and we don't need the helper column at all let's try for the second method go to the developer tab click on visual basic let's insert a module we should use the function statement to create a user defined function give a name for this function let's say i want it to be color make a bracket use the by value mechanism followed by a variable it can be any word or any letter let's say i want it to be cell and this is for the user to select the cell we should define as range to ensure that this function will update the value for us automatically we should use application dot volatile and we should set equal to true then return the color by using the function color set equal to the cell followed by dot interior dot color then go to the current sheet that is sheet 1 from the list of objects select worksheet make sure we are using the selection change procedure simply take one of the cell on this sheet let's say i want it to be a1 so we have range followed by a1 type the address in terms of string that is within the quotation marks and followed by dot calculate and the coding part is now done back to the spreadsheet so i want to make a count first we should use the map function select the array fix it comma use the lambda function to create formula since we have only one array which means that that we need one parameter make a comma use if function to create condition so let's say the color use the function that we created of the cell that is a is equal to the color of this cell then we should have a count of one otherwise zero close bracket to end this if statement close bracket to end lambda function close bracket to end map function press enter and we should obtain the count for the corresponding cell Lastly, in front of the map function, make use of the sum function. Move to the end and close bracket. Press enter and we should obtain the correct count. Select the cell, move the cursor to the bottom right corner and double click it. Delete those unwanted if needed. To obtain the sum, instead of typing the formula again, we can make use of what we have typed to count. So copy the formula, press the escape key, select the cell and paste it. Instead of having count that is a value of 1, we should return the value under the data that is the content of the cell of this array so we have a press enter select the cell move the cursor to the bottom right corner and double click it delete those unwanted if needed and we are now done the advantage of using the second method is when we change the field color manually as long as the selection is changed the values will be updated automatically but not for method one as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you